media segment. Kakaki Social is up next. Hello, Omai. Ohimai. Ohimai. Sally, don't bite your tongue. Oh, that's a good question. Hello, Ohimai. Hello, Sally. I don't have the magic to make everybody win an election. And that's coming from the APC chairman. I don't know how Nigerians are reacting to that. <laughs> take it off. Well, let's yeah. take a look. Happy New Month. Welcome to Kakaki Social. This is the segment of the show. We spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. I am Ohimai Amaize. Again this morning, Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje is at the center of a bribery allegation controversy uh, that has been on in the social media. Uh, you recall that Kakaki Social, when this issue first came out, uh, uh, we presented you a video uh, that uh, broke the internet uh, showing the governor purportedly receiving uh, millions of dollars uh, in bribe from uh, suspected contractors. Uh, the journalist that released those videos, uh, Jafar Jafar, testified uh, to the Kano State uh, House of Assembly uh, last week uh, stating that those videos uh, were actually credible and then uh, he had said that there were more videos to be released and yesterday, video number three in what seems to have become a movie, an action film, Gandolas 3, uh, was trending yesterday. Gandolas was trending yesterday in the Nigerian social media as Nigerians took to Twitter and all various social media platforms uh, to talk about this issue. A new video surfaced yesterday. Uh, so our reporters filing the report said Ganduje on the fire again as fresh video nails him for collecting millions in kickbacks. Uh, this issue... Uh, has generated a lot of uh, talk in the social media about what really should be President Buhari's uh, reaction to this issue or how should the anti-corruption agencies like the EFCC respond in the wake of this uh, issue that uh, uh, is raging right now in the social media. But of course, uh, the governor has immunity uh, as uh, a sitting governor. But let's take a look at excerpt from this report uh, yesterday uh, that was fired by Sahara reporter as Ganduji uh, under fire again as fresh video nails him for collecting millions in kickbacks. Uh, from this, uh, from that report yesterday, uh, let's take a look at the excerpt from 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 that report. Uh, the latest video was shared by Sholakuti on Twitter on Wednesday. In it, Ganduje is seen engaged in a discussion with someone on contracts relating to infrastructure. The transcription of the video showed the value of the deputy governor's office at 35 million naira. A certain Dandisha Road valued at 200 million naira, although the speaker said 220 million naira, and Rochas Road at 69 million. Afterwards, the governor is seen collecting money in bundles from the contractor. Uh, there's, there's been conversations about this, should the governor resign? But this third video uh, actually creates a very compelling situation for the governor to do more than just debunking uh, this issue and actually come out with real strong evidence to clear his name. Uh, this is really messy. This is a screenshot uh, from that video. Uh, you can see the governor in that video uh, purportedly receiving uh, some uh, dollar notes. Uh, we can't show you the video this morning, but this is a screenshot from the video. It's on social media, it's on Twitter. It's uh, been trending all through yesterday. Uh, let's go on and take a look at how Nigerians were reacting to this issue. Let's go and take a look at comments. Uh, Sholakwiti who released the video, he tweeted, said, more evidence of Ganduja's greed, AKA dollar collection operations. EFCC is in a coma till 2019 on this issue but we are quick to freeze Fire Share's account while he was governor. Just imagine this was Wiki. Would the EFCC be this quiet on such an issue? This is why Buhari has to go. Uh, from Sholakuti, we saw that tweet. Uh, let's take a look at more tweets from Nigerians. Uh, Adamu Garba uh, was uh, a presidential aspirant of the APC who later pulled out from the race. He tweeted, he said, the very, very, very shameful video of Ganduje again. I used to respect him and believed that he has a genuine desire for the people. Unfortunately, the evidence against him is so great that the only option left is taking the path of honor and respectfully resign. I feel betrayed from Adamu Garba, former presidential aspirant of the APC, who later pulled out of the race tweeting in this verified account. And from Abdurrahman Leme, we saw this tweet. Uh, the Kano State House of Assembly has a date with destiny. They must come clean on this Ganduja gate. An opportunity has presented itself for them to distinguish themselves. The governor can also make it easy for himself and everyone else by taking the honorable path. Uh, calling on the governor to uh, vacate the scene, resign. From Jafet Omojua, tweeting at Omojua, tweet, tweeted, said that the president, Buhari, cannot impeach or remove Governor Ganduje. But as someone leading Africa's anti-corruption war, he has to be quoted on the matter. The governor's party, APC, must be quoted too. 
You can't be an anti-corruption warrior, then keep quiet when a big fish is caught. Uh, Nigerians on social media calling on the ruling government, uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, anti-corruption led the government to, uh, to, to speak on this matter. And then, but the Twitter is uh, Ngugi Evuti, Abu Bakar Evuti tweeted say, saying, it is starting to annoy me the way people are talking as if they don't understand how the system works, as if Ganduja is a federal minister, not a state governor. And the Twitter user, the godfather Ayob, uh, responded to that tweet saying, See, these people know what they are doing. They just want to create rukus. Ganduje is not an appointee of Buhari, and if his state assembly do not impeach him, what should Buhari do? Act like OBJ used to do? I honestly believe anyone linking him to Buhari is just being obtuse. Uh, Ayob, uh, the godfather, tweeted there. And uh, more comments from Nigerians yesterday from East underscore South, so Sally tweeting, if Kano State out of assembly doesn't impeach Ganduje, also, if the EFCC doesn't do anything when he leaves that seat, then I will question the system. For now, the matter is in the hands of Kano State House of Assembly, not President Buhari. Uh, these are comments uh, absolving President Buhari of uh, any action on this matter. They are saying, no, the president should not meddle in this matter. It's not his business. He's a state governor. He's got immunity. And they brought from Ovie Ali, Ovie Ali, Omasro Ali Ovia tweeting at Ovi Ali said, uh, I like Ganduje, but the videos establish a prima facie case that the preponderance of evidence is beyond reasonable doubt. His alibi is running low on oxygen, and personally, I take them with a pinch of sodium shower. He should resign as his rebuter no longer inspires confidence, uh, calling on the governor to resign. Uh, but will the governor resign? Well, we are yet to see. We we'll, would we'll see Somto Onuchuko tweeting at choosing Somto in a hilarious, on a hilarious note said that the way Ganduja smiles and shakes body in the presence of dollars is something to watch. <laughs> Quite a hilarious uh, uh, tweet there from Chosen Somto. And then, of course, from Cho underscore Dazo, I think we should flood EFCC timeline with the Ganduja videos. At least they might have shame and say something. Uh, the EFCC has been uh, quite uh, conspicuously silent on that matter. Well, we move on from uh, the Gandolas matter right now to the issue of uh, the missing General Akali. Uh, remains of missing General Akali found in an abandoned well in Gushwad village of Josat local government area of Plata State. This report broke yesterday and filtered into the social media as well. Let's take a look at how Nigerians commented on this matter. The Nigerian army find, found the remains of uh, the, the late and missing General Akali uh, from Twitter user M. M, M. Mukadas. This goes a long way to tell how effective and efficient our armed forces can be on matters of interest to them. May the soul of Major General Akali rest in peace. And then let's go on and take a look at more commentary yesterday from Halima Gachi. We saw this tweet. At last, the remains of General Akali have been found. However, Duradu community know that you have murdered sleep. And like Macbeth, you shall sleep no more. You are all complicit in that heinous crime and other crimes before that. You must pay for your actions. Uh, uh, comments from Nigerians and from Haroon A. Adeza on Facebook. Late General Kali's body has been found. Kudos to the search and rescue team and the Nigerian army. Let this senior officer be given a befitting national barrier with full compliments. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, quite a very sad development uh, that we saw. And then uh, uh, from Uncle Tisha, General Akali's remains finally found in a well. The village around DuPont are still standing. No one has been shot at sight. The Nigerian army has been extremely professional. Yet, Buhari is the savage and the tyrant. Bloody hypocrites. Uh, from Uncle Tisha, Babajide Ojo tweeting. And then from Abubaka Imam Isa on Facebook, the atrocity conducted by Duradu community on Major General Akali is the first of its kind. Not only the eight suspects, the entire community should be held responsible. Nigerians calling on... Uh, uh, calling for justice on this matter. And then from Olu well on Facebook, what a sad story. The perpetrators of the heinous crime must be brought to justice. If only the authorities can be this vigilant in solving other crimes, this country would be much better. Uh, from Olu well on Facebook, uh, we saw that uh, comment. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at, uh, okay, from that issue now, we move on to the school feeding program of the federal government. Of course, uh, this issue, uh, the school feeding program of the Muhammad Bari administration has come under intense scrutiny in the Nigerian social media over the past few days. Uh, just a few days ago, uh, the vice president said uh, that Nigeria spends uh, 1.8 million naira 
dollars a day on the school feeding program. Oshiba Jorivi's FG school feeding program costs $1.8 million per day. And this has got Nigerians actually coming out to uh, question the credibility of that process. Uh, the, press, the, the running mate to uh, Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the PDP, Peter, Peter Obi, actually described the school feeding program as a joke. Uh, let's take a look at this short clip, uh, courtesy of Arise TV. The school feeding program, we, we, and we've we, seen pictures of the Bari government feeding school children. We, we, as far as I'm saying, concerned, we do respect to them. This is a joke. School feeding program of the Nigerian government is a joke. From Duba Jones, we saw this video. The amazing school feeding program in Nigeria that Prof Oshibanjo has been bragging about as an achievement. Do not believe everything you hear from the Nigerian president and vice president. We have had enough. Uh, this video was attached. Let's take a look at snippets from this video. A, a loaf of bread into four parts there. And uh, from Igala King at I am Ilemona tweeting, $1.8 million a day and kids are using paper to get, to get food to eat under the school feeding program. He also attached uh, a very disturbing video of kids eating on the floor in, in that tweet. Let's take a look at that video. <laughs> Comments from Nigerians on social media, Samson Ajagbe tweeting said, that tells you parents that couldn't afford lunch boxes will hardly afford to provide three square meals for their children. For once, let's appreciate that pupils that probably could have gone hungry are getting food to eat. The process might not be perfect, but it's commendable. Uh, let's take a look at more comments from Nigerians from uh, Segi tweeting, uh, this is the second video of the type I'm seeing today and notice the same thing in both. No face shown, no landmark presented for easy verification. Person with camera deliberately walked within parameters of propaganda. Conclusion, make una try harder. Buhari all the way, uh, disputing the credibility of the videos that we've just seen. Uh, then from Ezra, Ezra Shua one, we saw this tweet. The school head and the contractor should be arrested and prosecuted. Even my dog doesn't eat on paper. Uh, these are comments from Nigerians reacting to the video you've just seen. From Baba Jide Fadoju, we saw this tweet. From my experience with the school feeding program in Oyo State and a few Southwest states, I have never encountered a man serve food or even cook. It has always been women, so I doubt if this is if this is the federal government school feeding program, the site hot. Uh, uh, Lemon and Noja Twitter user, the veracity of the video you shared is being questioned. Where did you get that video from? But we saw also a tweet uh, from uh, Ulufi so tweeting saying lies versus reality and shared a video that seems to uh, document uh, the real situation according to this video of the school feeding program. Let, let's take a look at this video. My name is Ojo Rayman. The name of that school is Selly Demonstration School 1, Molite Ibadi. The food is alright. The vendors prepare the food very well. And the food tastes well. When we see the food vendor in our school, we always say that. We have to say the federal government if they can expand the food to upper classes. Okay, that's a video courtesy of the Nigerian government uh, showing uh, what, uh, according to them, is the real situation of the school feeding program. Uh, and then we move on to Instagram where <laughs> Donald Duke is. Uh, on a controversial note again, uh, he seems to be making controversial statements that gets him into trouble. This time around he said, I earned 5.6 million naira in three years. 
Donald Duke. 2019 presidential aspirant Donald Duke has told INEC that he earned 5.6 million naira, an average of 155k per month between 2015 and 2017 through his businesses. According to Legit NG, the ex-governor of Cross River State also revealed that he paid a tax of 400,000 naira within the same period. Ah, but Nigerians are having none of these on, on social media. Let's go to Instagram and Insta blog Niger, Niger, particularly where we saw comments yesterday from Chuka Dupri. With such low earnings for a man with your supposed wealth and connection, you cannot take us out of this mess. <laughs> I'm from Push underscore Motos. Everyone is trying hard to take over the comedy industry. Cynthia Baby dot tweet uh, posting on Insta blog Niger said, liar, did that pay the bills for your daughter's luxury wedding? This country is such a mess, can't deal. Uh, Nigerians uh, on social media from Kevin underscore, uh, from K Kevin on Insta blog Niger tweeting, uh, posting said, uh, 155K a month? Don't you have bills to pay? Even your watch alone is 180K. So you took a full month's money to buy watch and not pay bills? If yes, then we don't want irresponsible president. Young blooded underscore Kizzy posted, said, somebody should please remove that Apple wristwatch and hand it over to me before he tells another lie. <laughs> Nigerians have no chill on social media. Ab underscore Atobat posting said, his daughter's wedding was more than 20 million naira though, but okay. Sexy fat girl six uh, posting said, well done sir, continue feeding people with bread, we no get salt and sugar. Me, I'm not eating no. Cynthia Baby Doll posted said, uh, liar, did that pay the bills for your daughter's luxury wedding? This country is such a mess, can't deal. Uh, Nigerians are uh, disputing Donald Duke's claim that he earned uh, 5.6 million naira within a space of uh, about two, uh, two th or three years. And then also on Tatafo Niger on Instagram, we saw this video, viral video of a Nigerian mom beating her son with wood. Let's take a look at this video and the comments that followed. If that is not child abuse, I don't know what it is from Nigerians on, is on Instagram. Black sheep uh, underscore me said uh, the African frustration is let out on everything. This is certainly not correction. This is clear frustration. And she doesn't know that boy is becoming hardened. Give him one more year. The mom won't have the nerve to try this again. Africans go through a lot. And from Mizeni Diamond, uh, we all went through this. Mine was actually firewood with fire. <laughs> and the official Babi, that's how it is in Yoruba Lansha. You are not meant to stand while an elder is beating you. You should be running. Laugh out loud. Pretty damsel, 19, po 19 posting, and people were there watching her like Nigerian movie. This is child abuse. From Obehi underscore, child abuse. You can't try this in Norway. You won't see the child and his other siblings ever again. Well, this is where we wrap it up this morning on Kakaki Social. Follow the conversation on all our social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Uhimaya Maize, handing you over back now to uh, Sally Anotile. Oh, my the last video is heart wrenching. Mm. Child terrible. abuse, indeed. Terrible video. Nothing to laugh about, mm -hmm. particularly about that video. And well, I, sometimes I don't know if it's possible to verify uh, where these kind of persons can actually True. be tracked mm -hmm. down. So exactly. they need help, actually, because mm -hmm. for the mother, that's all she knows. But anyway, thank you so much, Ohimai, for bringing all these yes. things, reality happening in mm -hmm. different parts of the Nigeria, to the public domain through Kakaki Social. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good TV. day.